Portsmouth team looks like this, 4-2-3-1, with Bishop up front, hoping to make some diagonal runs. Also, Pack in the CDM spot, don't tell the kit man of Lobsters FC, he'd get that wrong. 3-2-3-2 three, two, three, two for Lobsters today, Chowder returns from a hernia injury to replace the injured Sykes who's out for four weeks and missed the beginning of the season. Bradley will be open for a clean sheet in his first game for Lobsters FC. Hello everyone, it's me. Your commentary team for today, Finley Boylan, just by myself. Unfortunately, I could not afford Gary Neville to be alongside me, as uh, a lot of AI-generated voiceovers seem to cost a lot of money. The fans of Portsmouth are very excited here. Uh, and look, oh, there's a child. The kid away from Jake Cause oh, there's another one. Oh, dear. That's an issue that will be dealt with internally, but who's ready for the first game of the season? Uh... We're off. First game of the season, Lobs FC looking to promote themselves to the championship. Many would be hopeful of that. Lobs FC faithful, you know, very behind the team. Portsmouth themselves, you know, big club, big history. FA Cup winners not so long ago. And Lobs will be looking to make a big impression against them today. So let's see how that goes. Lane on the ball now, not Bernard. Uh, sorry. Uh, Alex Scott. Excuse me. I'm trying to commentate you. Piss off, Alex. Bloody hell, what are you doing? Let's hope she doesn't do that again. Dirty fucker. So, pardon my language, everyone. Just uh, wasn't told that she'd be interrupting me. I should be the last of her. So, throw in here for Lobster FC. Baxter will take it. He's going to take his time. I mess about a bit. Child Hurry now on the ball. What will he do? That's a poor pass from Child Hurry. He's better than that. He knows that. That's like losing a marathon race to Mr. Mangum. Oh, wait. Scully now. Oh, that's a big save from Bradders. Bradley, he's telling this defence to look around, mate. That was a big, big save. Good hands from the keeper. Come on, you lobsters. And there's the manager, Paul Stevenson. Apparently, his, uh, his hat likes to stick on his head, apparently. He came out the wound with the hat on. Uh, very interesting fact. I don't know how he did it. But you've just got to respect it. It's a sticky hat. A bit like my pants watching Lobsters FC. Anyway, enough about me. Let's continue watching the action. Uh, nice play around the back from Lost FC. I'm, so I'm sorry. Uh, oh, her production is allowing this. Get her off the TV. I'm trying to commentate a match here, and here she is interrupting me. Who do you think you are, Alex? Stick, fuck it. What a wanker. She shows up and runs away. No bed. Let's try and focus on the football. Kick out from the back. Child Hurry can't get there. Dalton, Morrill, is Scully, he's going to go past Austin, and he's going to score, Scully, 1-0, oh jeez, god he's a scary looking bloke, no Hitchcock with him, but Scully can still get the work done, and he goes past Austin very, very easily, we watch this again, uh, here we go, gets the ball here, it's, it's not bad from him, it's just, Austin just, it's too easy, it's a nice finish, it's a nice finish, He's a very weird-looking bloke, though. I will say that about this Scully lad. I'm um, not too sure the jeans in uh, Portsmouth. Well, I'm B from Portsmouth there. That's poor from me. Uh, but, yeah. He's not looking too great. Paul Stevenson, clean, not happy. Oh, God, here we go. Look at him. He just looks a bit like of a more spazzed-out version of Haaland. Uh, part of my language. But he's not too great. Uh, it's not too great from Lost Saga. 1-0. And they're actually going to blow that. You cheeky little fucker, ref doing that straight after kickoff anyway uh, after that Scully goal uh, who we have to look at again for some reason it's uh, Anthony bloody his picture look at his forehead it's 1-0 to Portsmouth uh, and we have to see what happens half time hopefully you know Stevenson can get in there get a good old rollicking on the boys and then come out and get a few goals and win this game the second half here 
Will Obsess find their way back like Reina found her way back to Sandro? We'll have to find out. Here we go. That Dalton injury. Don't be alarmed, LFL players. If you own Dalton, you've scored all lots of FC fans. Dalton is still on the pitch. It's just a precaution. We don't know how bad it is, but he's still playing, which means it can't be that bad. And Stevens is on uh, for Baxter here. Let's hope Stevens maybe upgrades on what Baxter was doing because Baxter was quite silent in the first half. Very, very silent. You know, uh, and I'm hoping Stevens has a bit more of an impact in the game. What's going on here then? Baxter and Stevenson having a talk? I mean, he's probably wondering why he got hooked, but, you know, he's trying to act like a cool guy now. He's trying to get up with the boss. Again, both hand on his shoulder. We, we know you're game back, mate. Seems you ain't messing about here. You'll realise that. Cheeky from him. It's a corner here to Portsmouth. I'll take it. It's an easy header. It's a poor clearance, though. Oh, what's going on? Oh, good block, good block. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Dear, oh, dear. Oh, gee, look at the size of his noggin. Fucking hell. Wow. Eggshell. Wow, pat that head, mate. Cheeky. Jeez, that's a fucking wallop of a red. But I've got to tell you, that is awful. Look, the shot block isn't that bad. But the keeping from Bradley, mate. Look, my nan's dead. And she could save that. I mean, you know, a lot of family members of mine dead. They've got dead brother and sister. And there's more life to them than this Lobster's FC team right now. They really need to pick up the pace because that is shocking. I mean, look. Look how pissed he is, mate. He wants to throw that cap. But it's, unfortunately, he would uh, take his head with him. But that is shocking goalkeeping. You don't expect that from your keeper. You want burden that. You don't want AJFC goalkeeping. Sort that out. And we have to see that Oglyph guy again. Look at, look at him. He takes up the pit. Oh, that head is massive, mate. Thank God he's not wearing the cap that fucking Stevenson's wearing. He wouldn't be able to fit. Here's Reeve. Good turn. Stevens. Here we go. Oh, what the fuck? Seriously, how is that was wide as hell? That was as wide as Justin's bum cheeks in the Netherlands. Why is that? Stevens, mate, you got bought on to do a job. You're failing at your job. Get sacked, mate. Disgusting. Portsmouth gonna try and play over the top here, probably. Ah, it's easy, easy for but chuck. Sorry, free kick for what? God, this can't. Where is that free kick? Surely this game can't get any worse for Lobster's FC. That might be the lowest point of the game so far. <sighs> Surely it can't be any worse. Oh, jeez. Oh, Jesus Christ. You can't. You can't be serious. What the hell is he doing on the pitch? Look at him. What an awful trim. Get him off. The fans don't want him. I don't want to see him. No one's... That man is horrific. He can play on a pitch where he's bound from the family stands. Why? Ask him. Uh, God, we have to look at this guy. Go, uh, this is horrific. I'm like, what a mess. What an absolute mess. I need to go spec. No, I don't want to go spec savers. I need to get rid of my eyes. I don't want to get him better. I can't look at Jacob. He's horrific. He's messing me up. Fuck. And go there even pointing out Stevens' shot on the Opta. That's how bad it was. They're comparing it to Scully's five shots. Uh, he obviously scored one of his. Uh, here we go, though. Stevens on the left. Can he do any better now? Oh, that's dirty. Daddy's dirty son. I might want to get a replay of that. What's the ref going to give here? Could this be a red for Rafferty? You just come on a pitch. It's a yellow. Ooh, I'm not so sure. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, that's naughty. He doesn't even go for the ball. Wow. Get that in UFC. I don't want to see that around here, mate. That is poor, poor. And that's really poor from the refereeing as well. Like, really should be a red card. I can't, you know, if I'm a lost FC fan, I'd feel hard done by it, which I am. So, um, it's a rough time for all of us out here. Can Lobs FC take advantage from that free kick, though? He's child, hurry. Could he? Oh, right into the keeper. You want him to get in one of the corners there. I mean, it's not poor from child, hurry. It's just unlucky. He's in, a, he's in a tight angle. And, you know, sometimes I've heard the child, hurry, he, does, he deals well with tight angles. You know, he likes it when it's tight. But clearly there, it wasn't right for him. Maybe the resulting corner could have some positive effects. Here we go, Lambert. Oh, this team, they're like Daniel Green at Simmons. There's so many shots, so many shots. Where's the goals though, lads? No goals. It's been slow, it's been lethargic from Lobster. They haven't really got into this game at all when we're 86 minutes in. Don't give him the hard, oh, they give him the ball. Look, he's going to do nothing, he's rubbish, he's rubbish. He stinks, he's horrific. Oh, bloody hell. He just... Mate, 
He is rubbish. Oh, and Alex Scott is back. Oh, this isn't a job. Mate. Alex Scott, mate, you know, can't try to defend your boyfriend here. He's fucking too old for him. Bloody hell, piss off, Alex Scott. What an awful, awful person. Bloody fucking... Oh, and here he is again. Oh, he's actually done well this time. Nonce. Oh, and the referee's blowing a whistle. Wow. That performance was flat. I felt like I was in Parliament School again. That was so flat. Jeez. What a horrific performance from the lobsters. I mean, I can't really play Stevenson, but it just felt at points that they were very lethargic lobsters. They were passing around the bat. They, they felt like there was no intention to score. And they did get good chances. They were just missed. I mean, you want. It feels like um, what I'd say is all the big chances didn't really go to their strikers, the people that you want finishing the ball. And obviously, sure, injury up front, their main striker is a problem but you have to rely on your backup sometimes and if they can't do the job you got to be worried for the rest of the season one xg from lobsters you hope that uh, in the future they can convert those chances but when you bring on people like jacob causa that isn't going to happen when you control the possession you got to do more with the ball that's what lobsters got to hope to do i've been finley boylan thank you for listening just one minute of added time and so it is the first half story has been written we certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point Stuart closing stages here the Krakens with the lead can they see it out well, they need to hold on here. Not long left now, but you have to say they've defended really well up to this point. And I just can't see them conceding now. This will be a really good win if it stays like this. Johnson, Clark, Harris. Terrific save. It's a short corner. teammate and the finish is just as good that's an excellent goal well disappointment anger frustration whatever is going through his mind he needs to get his team and the final whistle at the end of the game the two sides cannot be separated but what will the home fans be feeling about what they put into the game?
Well, I have to say, Derek, it was another disappointed display and result for them. I expected a lot more, but I still think they're a good side. They need to improve quickly, though. Well, we're focusing on him for a reason. Played with real... Attack carried promise, but petered out. Bowman. Done with it now. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Well, what a glorious chance to grab the first goal of the contest. Well, you have to say that's a wasted opportunity to get their noses in front here. So back underway, and an intriguing second half in prospect. Still alive. Well, that's a sad end to the attack. Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. And it's a good run, matched by a very cool finish. What a great goal that is. What thinking defensively. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. This could be troublesome. And it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop him. shows wonderful vision it's inch perfect and from there he never looked like missing that's a lovely goal well he looks really pleased doesn't he his side have been really good today The travelling fans are full of the joys because they are moving on. Well, as the scoreline would suggest, it was a comfortable win, but they had to play really well to get their victory. In particular, I thought their midfield really imposed themselves on the game. They'll need to continue that going into the next round. His performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Stuart. Well, that was a great performance. His understanding of how to find space was brilliant today. And, of course, he scored two really good goals. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages.
And the whistle is sounded for half time in this game. He might say he'll be happy with some aspects of his performance so far, but not every. The fans are shouting, shoot! And a goal! Now they have their opener, and now they can celebrate. Well, as you can see, he beats the defenders so easily with a change of pace, and then it's a decent finish. That's a very good goal, you have to say. And Kraken's finding space on the wing. Crossing possibilities. Well, the Kraken's behind, but they have the corner. Let's see what they can do with it. So, making the substitution now. And he's fired over the corner. And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. Dalton, sloppy on the ball from the Krakens. And that is going to be that. Well, a tale of woe in terms of the scoreline as far as the visitors are concerned here. Well, it's been a poor start to the season for them, and today was no different. They lacked energy, they lacked tactical understanding, and looked short on confidence. They need to... Says Stuart Robson and coming up for you very shortly live action from League One it's the Krakens and they take on Charlton Athletic well thanks Derek as always the scene is set two good teams a great playing surface and a can he finish oh good work oh it's gone in would you believe and that is going to be classified as an own goal Allowing them to come onto them. Not afraid of that. Done with it now. Good looking sequence, this. Can he finish? And it's gone in. The team's separated by two goals now. You cannot say they don't deserve it. Strong but fair tackle. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Well, to give an honest appraisal of this performance, it doesn't look as though he's really been at it, Stuart. Well, he's been poor today. He hasn't got on the ball enough. He's given it away cheaply. And well, they can't quite take advantage in the end. Credit due, a good intervention. Now the situation has changed in one of the other games I'm hearing. Let's go to Alex Scott. Yeah, it's a goal for Peter. Can he finish? A goal! Just what they needed. Still plenty of life in this match. Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. Well, that makes it interesting. And suddenly, he's showing a bit of concern here. Just look at his face. Twenty minutes to go. Fine work from Krakens to win the ball back.
It's a neat move. Will it be? And there it is! A two-goal cushion now, and they just need to keep the concentration. The referee blows for full time. It ends at a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Well, Derek, they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game. They defended well enough, they dominated midfield, and they created chances as well. It was a great performance. Done with it now. Well, wait, don't go anywhere. We're going to have five additional minutes. And drawing it back. It's got to be! And he's outdone himself. Wonderful save there. The referee blows for full time. It ends at a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Well, Derek, they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game. They defended well enough, they dominated midfield, and they created chances as well. It's a great performance. Well, here's the replay. What a superb body this is. He strikes it so cleanly, and he times it perfectly. In possession, Mella. Passes like that, very much in his repertoire. Could be threatening. Oh, a chance to put them at an even better position. Well, he's got to hit the target there. What a waste that is. Now sliding in field. And still trying to get the shot off. Magnificent defending. Well, they are behind, but can they give themselves a boost with this corner? Well, just listen to the crowd. They know this is a big chance to equalise. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Not the most confident clearance. And defensive play to be applauded. Stephen Humphreys. Well, the fans want to see a shot. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, I really like... ...substitution now.
departed clearance. Well, threat over for now. And that is that. The referee blows his whistle for full time, and it's a victory for the visitors. Well, Derek, it was a really tight game, but they were the better side over the 90 minutes, and they fully deserved their victory today. Well, we're focusing on him for a reason. Played with real authority in attack, Stuart. And now King. Good looking sequence. Teammate in support. And a goal! Just what the fans wanted to see. The ideal way to begin. Well, as you can see, what an excellent back heel this is to set up the goal. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure. Chance to run at them. Donald Love. Determined defending. Chowdhury. It's looking promising. Can he finish? And a fine stop. An attacking push. And foul it is then. take another look and it's a very good goal and they deserve it you have to say they've been excellent so back underway well underway one Shepard. Francis. Takes it on. There it is. A fantastic goal. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. And the ball is moving again. Anyone's guess? The attack carried an initial threat but fizzled out. Shepard. Francis. Could be threatening. Oh, it's in! And that might be the goal that clinches it for them. No looking back now, surely. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. But I think the keeper has made a mistake here. While it's a decent finish, it should go in at that near post. So back underway at 3-1.
and space to cross it. A cross lacking guile and accuracy. There's the final whistle. The travelling fans are full of the joys because they are moving on. Yes, and thoroughly deserved, you have to say. But they controlled large parts of the game, they created enough chances, and if they can continue to replicate performances like this, they have to fancy their chances going forward. Well, he put in a really thorough performance here, Stuart. work on the training field that doesn't happen by chance this is planned practiced and perfected on a daily basis they keep plugging away and how about that for a save now oh, doesn't get away with it free kick given And a goal update to tell you about in the Peterborough United match. Alex Scott. It's a goal for Peterborough United. They've scored the only... Oh, hang on, Alex. Big chance here. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. It's a goal for Barnsley. They're back level. It's one all with 36 minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. Pretty routine there for the goalkeeper. Francis. Losing possession. Can he finish? And he hits it well, but off the post. Gokishin defensively and did his job. Baxter. So the referee blows his whistle for half time. A tense contest so far, Stuart. What have you made of the visitors? Well, once again, their defensive play has been excellent. They've closed the ball down quickly, they've stopped crosses coming into the box, and I can't see them conceding today. But between them at the moment. So athletic, that's a dynamic strike. The referee blows for full time, it ends at a victory for the home team, no complaints from the fans here. Well Derek, it was very competitive, chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team and they deserve their victory.
Well, they'll need a little help from elsewhere if they're to go through today. But all they can do is focus on this game and get the three points. Stevens. Likes to run with the ball at his feet. And still an opportunity. And held by the keeper at the second time of asking. Watch your head. And you've got to credit that magnificent piece of defending. Francis has it. makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. And the ball moving again. Watching the space really well, but now can they push on? It looked as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Might be a chance here. in position now he's in with a chance oh good work by the keeper for them but up a dead end forceful learn to win it back real chance and he's made it a great for himself the defenders just unable to stay with him and he's having a field day well as you can see he's given far too much space but he still had some work to do and i think that's a very tidy finish it was never in doubt well no wonder he's delighted they're bossing the game now Oh, breezing past him. Chance to cross. Sends it back. And there it is! Still life left in this game. And they have the momentum now. Well, here's the replay. He's done well to get his head up, pick out a teammate, but the keeper should do better at his near post. That's gone in far too easily. That's right. is the whistle for full time job done by the visitors on match day one yeah it's so vital to get off to a quick start in these group stages they'll be happy with the three points but now they have to back it up in the next game six points and you're halfway there no two ways about it he really has brought his influence